Hey, I'm James Burnham. Welcome to my segment where I react to videos that I've never seen before. Today, I'm gonna watch a video on how to not speak to a woman. I'm curious to see what we're gonna see. Let's buckle up and go for the ride. The ice X Factor. Cream. I love ice Skip. cream! Who wants some ice cream? <laughs> My name is Jorge Pena, I'm 22, I'm from Long Island, and I sell ice cream for a living. What's your name? Holly. My name is Jay, I'm actually a contestant on the show. That's so cool. So what I really want to do is music. To be bombarded every day by girls, I mean, who's not going to love the girls? Hello, woman. Oh my god, you're going to be my girl. So. Like, I want to marry you. Wait, so what am I seeing you again? Um, so this guy. Right, he's all dressed up, all spiffy, and he's got his hair and everything. He's like, I'm a contestant, he's doing ice cream. He's got all these, he's standing in the middle of all these girls. He's talking about how his whole thing is about being around girls, because who doesn't love girls? And you can see that while he's very interested in girls, he does not understand women at all. It's already apparent. Let's keep going. Hello, woman. Oh my god, you're gonna be my girl. So, like, I wanna marry you. Wait, so when am I seeing you again? I'm kind of like a flirt. Oh yeah, get along that. Like, I'm really trying to go for Paul and Bella. Actually, I like Demi more. Like, I'm in love with Demi. When it comes to the judges, I know I got the ladies. My Latin charm is all I'll ever... Oh gosh. So they show, he says, when it comes to the ladies, I know I got the ladies. And they saw, show him speaking to several women, just saying things, and you just see these women's faces like, oh my gosh, what is this guy saying? Because he's so self-absorbed, he thinks he's so awesome, and he thinks he's such a gift, he's not actually looking at the woman that he's talking to. He's talking about him and all that he can get, and, blah, and he thinks he's showing value. What he's showing is bravado, and a hope that he could connect with a good girl and acting as if he's got all this game, but it's empty because he's not even like, one girl's yawning as he's talking to him. The other girl's just like, oh my gosh. He's like, oh, when will I see you again? You can see she's not interested. This kid, he's funny. Need on stage. I sing, do what I have to do, and just smile and wait. I'm sexy no, and I know it. Hello, ladies. How you doing? Hello. Hello, Demi. How you doing? Hi. ¿Cómo te llamas? Jorge. Hola, Jorge. ¿Cómo estás, mi amor? Really, really good. Where are you yeah. from? Colombia. Hey, oh, Colombia. And I'm here from Long Island. How old are you? I'm 22. And what do you do for a living? I work in an ice cream truck. No. Oh, I want an ice cream. Ice cream. You guys too, come out? I was out you there for like an some. hour. Do you have the red, white, and blue pop? And <laughs> yeah. the pink panther? Whatever you guys like, I have. Do you eat the ice cream yourself? I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> now I like you more. Yeah? Simon, I could already tell I have three votes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? No girlfriend. Okay, so everyone's being nice to him. He's, you know, playing around. He's really laying it on thick, but, you know, they're okay with it, right? And then he says to Simon Cowell, he's on the x Factor. he's like, Hey, Simon, I can tell I already got the three votes. And then he pauses, and he does this creepy wink at the female judges, and they do a pan up on their faces, and all three of the women are like, Ugh. <laughs> it's so bad. He's just a guy that hasn't got to figure it out. <laughs> no girlfriend, please. Please, don't do that. I have time for the ladies, though. Girlfriend is something completely different. Okay, what are you going to sing tonight? I want to sing Ama Me. It's Love Me. She says, do you have a girlfriend? She's trying to, like, actually make him likable, right? And his response to, do I have a girlfriend, is, hey, I got time for the ladies, but no girlfriend, man. <laughs> he just... <laughs> Oh, this poor guy, he's going home alone tonight. He is. I want to sing Ama Me. It's Love Me. And I just want to serenade the ladies. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> he says, I just want to serenade the ladies. And I don't know the judges, but one of the judges looks at the other girls, the female, and she's just like, he's not going to do this. Because <laughs> he's so obnoxious in what he's saying and how he's presenting himself. He thinks he's charming them. He's not. 
he's being completely self-absorbed and acting like he's the gift to all women and nobody likes that. Nobody. Here he goes. I hope he can sing. Ayúdame a cambiar este destino Sálvame, por favor Que tengo el corazón partiendo Dame más, quiero más De esa bendita forma en que me mira I wish you could see the faces of these people, of the women particularly as he's singing because he's so into it. He's got this like, he's putting out this energy the energy that I'm watching is, I'm the fucking man. You want me. Look at me. I'm so good. I'm so sexy. And it's just repulsive. I can barely watch it, and none of the women watching it here are liking it. The judges particularly. The female judges, their faces are just like, what? And he's not that great a singer. I mean, he's okay, but he's not blowing anybody's mind away. Solo tú, solo yo. Caricias que me roben la razón Amame Acércate y amame El mundo se inventó para los dos No tiene la razón de explicación Simon, stop it. Thank you. Put us out of our pain. Like that? Okay, uh, Demi. Oh, yeah. Tell me, woman. <laughs> I'm sorry? Tell me, woman. What? I said, tell me, woman. Um, okay, don't call me, me woman. Oh, sorry. sorry. He's not picking up on any of the cues. This guy, I've seen guys do this, right? People love confidence. It's attractive, confidence. Fake, bravado is not attractive. It's hiding deep and <laughs> painful, just kind of brokenness that everyone can see when you're acting with bravado. And so here's this guy, just tell me woman, blah, blah, doing all this stuff. It's that kind of machismo thing that he thinks is good. It's not. It's covering how weak and inferior he thinks and he's about to get himself set up for a big, big bitch slap that's gonna make him realize yeah, you're not all you think you are. And it's going to crush this poor guy. I can see it. <laughs> I just see it coming. And Simon's got this look on his face like, oh, he's like a cat with catnip. He's about to take this guy out. And the, <laughs> I don't know who the judges are by their name, but I think it's Demi Lovato. And she's like, don't call me woman. Like, and he says, what? And she says, don't call me woman. And he says, what? Because <laughs> he doesn't want to hear. He's not there to listen, to engage. He's there to show them I'm high value, I'm the man, I'm doing it all. And when you begin to do that, everything about you says that you're not what you're claiming to be. You know what's really cute? What? What's really sexy? Tell me. Is humility. And um, there, that's something that you lack a little bit. <laughs> He's lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> so Demi Lovato's like, hey man, She's trying to help this kid, right? He's a good looking kid, he's on the stage, but he's just over the top. And she's like, you know what's sexy is humility. She's like, tone it down. She's trying to tell him to tone it down. <laughs> it makes sense, now it Give makes him sense. Give a break. Um, you know, while you were singing, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what he's saying. He could be telling me I look like a donkey. <laughs> 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 and when you started getting slick with my girl, I was like, now he's acting like a donkey. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, but I do think that humility is very sexy, just as much as, you know, singing in a beautiful language is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you are very cute, very handsome. Thank you. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to vote now. Uh, tell me, woman. Yes or no? Okay, the both of you never, ever call me woman again. 
Simon's just playing it, man. You know, like Simon doesn't care. And he just throws the words that this kid used and he's been using, like calling girls women and ladies and bleh, just at, it, it, he's objectifying, right? When he's done with his language, you can say a word and it has a meaning or you can say a word and it objectifies the humanity of that person. And what he's doing is he is objectifying these women. He's calling them woman. He knows Demi Lovato's name. He's interested in her. He talked about her before the thing. And he, before he got up on the stage. So he knows who she is. But he's acting like he's the man and he's the gift to everybody. And here I am. Hey, woman, tell me. Because I'm going to get it. You know, like it's, oh, it's just hard. And uh, Simon throws out the thing. And Demi Lovato's just like, enough. It's just turned her stomach to the point that she can't handle it anymore. She's putting Simon in his place, which is hilarious. I do love the fact that you're Latin, smooth, you sing in Spanish, you're kind of cute. Um, no, don't let that go to your head. <laughs> I, think, I think there's something there. So he's listening, right, kind of anxious, and then she's like saying the stuff, and then she's like, and you're kind of cute, and his, he just pops up, right? He thinks, oh, man, Demi Lovato likes me. And, and she's just like, no, I'm trying to tell you to be humble. I'm trying to tell you to tone it down. And he just keeps rising up, rising up. Like he can't control himself. I like what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, for the next two minutes, zip it. I really, really, really don't like your attitude, but I want to see you come back because you're talented. I'm going to give you a yes. Wow. No, don't wink at me. Paulina. Jorge, por favor, cambia un poco tu, tu rollo, porque creo que no está bien. Por favor, bájate ya de las estrellas, güey. Todavía no eres una estrella. She's saying in Spanish, hey, man, you got to tone it down. You got to come down from the stars. You're not a star yet. And... I would take it beyond, she's, she, again, she's trying to touch him gently, right? She's trying to, these women are very, very gently trying to guide this poor, obnoxious man who is, honestly, I bet you, you get this kid off the stage, out of this scenario, he's probably a really sweet kid. But he thinks, you know, you got to fake it till you make it. So he's acting what he thinks a star, a man, a powerful guy should be. He is not acting as he is, which is what women want more than anything, guys. If I can fucking tell you something that will bring you, the women you are wanting to meet, show up as you are. And if you're showing up, if this guy, if that is truly who he is and he's showing up, guess what? He gets to learn that none of these women like him. And so if that's where he wants to be, he can stay in that place or he can then turn inward and fix and repair what needs to be repaired to get what he wants. But if you show up as yourself and you love what you are and you're happy with it, there will be someone to meet you and find you and love you. This kid, it's very obvious, has a facade around him. I don't believe this is who he is and no one else watching does either. We can see through it. We see through the bravado. We see it as weakness. We are pained by it. All of the judges are like grimacing as he's up there because this kid cannot stop faking. And it's tragic to see, but we do this all the time when we're dating, when we're interacting, when we want some job interviews. We let the reality of who we are go and we act in a way that we think we need to be to get whatever it is we want. It is not the way to get what you want. Yes or no? I'm, I'm going to leave it just like that. Well, what we don't that know a, what you said. Is that a yes or a no? It's a yes. You need to change. You're, you're... I will. Okay, Kelly? Everything that she said. <laughs> yes or no? C. Oh, nice. I'm glad you've experienced a little bit of what I've had to deal with for the last few days, right? Not easy. I feel your pain. Thank you very much. We're kind of brothers now, right? I'm going to ask for a raspberry ripple. 
That's an ice cream. And you've also got a yes for me. I'm sexy in my Wow. Anyway, so this guy gets the yes. He sings, he gets the yes, he gets to move on. And it's in spite of him that they say yes. And every single person except for Simon <laughs> warns him. And honestly, Simon's just leading this kid down the path with a trail of breadcrumbs because he is so entertained by how messed up this kid is. He just likes to watch him make these women feel grossed out and uncomfortable. Guys, if you are talking to women and you're pretending to be the man, you know, the killers have that song, I'm the man. And I love that song, right? It's great. It talks about, you know, I'm the man. I got skin in the game, <laughs> household name. <laughs> I got news for you, baby. You're looking at the man, right? In the song, it's a thing to pump you up. It's the thing to get you going. It's a fun idea, right? And, and you have to think that to a level, but you can't think, <laughs> I'm the man to exclusion of all others where you're objectifying people, you're not listening to them, you're just like, and you're over the top sexual when it's not invited. You've got to tone it down. You've got to meet them where they're at. You've got to engage with them where they're at. You've got to see them as humans. And that's men and women, right? We've got to see each other. If you don't, you're going to be like this guy, acting like he's a player and a ladies' man and all that. And I didn't see a single girl in all the filming that they did that did anything but grimace with his presence. Man, this is this guy, he's giving a dissertation on how not to act around women. Hilarious. I can't believe that this kid made it on to the next round. I'd have given him a no just for how obnoxious he is because, I, you know, I don't want to promote that kind of stuff. But hey, man, they were able to hear in his voice something I couldn't. That's maybe why I'm not a judge on that X Factor show. If you can watch this, if you can see what's going on and break that down, reflect on yourself. See if you're doing any of that and get rid of it out of your life. Just do the opposite, you know? Whatever this guy did, do the opposite and you'll probably be really good with women. Stick around, I got another video coming up. It's this dating on TikTok one. I'm curious to see if you like it. Thanks for joining me, I'm James Byrne. Like, subscribe, follow.